Some plants are not just resources for insects. They're also mutualistic partners and benefit from their relationship. The best known of these interactions is that between acacia ants and bullshorn acacia trees in Central America. The ants have a full banquet and residence on the bullshorn acacia. They nest in the enlarged hollow thorns, entering and exiting from a hole near the tip. They consume energy-rich nectar from specialized extrafloral nectaries at the base of the leaves. They also take the oil and protein packets at the ends of some leaflets back to the nest for their young. The food-producing structures on the plant have no apparent purpose other than to provide for the ants. Did the ants just get lucky? Or are they providing the tree with something that it needs in return? In 1874, in Nicaragua, the naturalist Thomas Belt suggested that the aggressive acacia ants reciprocated by defending the plants against herbivores, using stingers to drive them away. They also defended the plants against plant competitors by chewing away any invading vines or clearing nearby seedlings. Belt's idea was not tested until Daniel Jansen conducted an experiment in 1966. Jansen selected a population of acacia trees and designated some of them as untreated controls and others as experimental subjects. To the experimental subjects, he fumigated the trees with insecticide to remove all of the residential ants. He also applied a sticky material to the tree's base to prevent other ants from crawling up and recolonizing the tree. After 10 months, Jansen determined the percentage of trees still surviving and looked at how much they had grown. He found that the control trees with the ants had considerably higher survival rates. They also had greater growth than did the trees without ant populations. From this experiment, Jansen showed that the relationship between the ant and tree species was indeed mutualistic. The ants benefited, but they did indeed reciprocate providing substantial survival benefits to the acacia trees.